Je suis la maman d'Anouk. So this is Joe. And this is Ben. Our daughter Ali is 13. Mm. Et Elena. And my youngest child is Audrey Patterson. Joe might be the happiest child I have ever met. And see all the people coming in and out of the shop and you know, give them a wave and, and say hello. And he was very much a very popular with our customers. Sebastian is a very jovial young man, usually in a very good mood. She will look at you and then just look at you and then all of a sudden will shake your hand or do something. And That's she And she hugs. She's like that yeah, most of the time she will smile she was uh, she was friendly with the with the people. Alors Anouk est une petite fille souriante qui a toujours la joie de vivre avec ses grands yeux. She she cares for her babies like the, her baby dolls like they're real babies. You know, if one of us is laying on the sofa, she'll come up and put a blanket on you. Her laugh is is her best quality. She's friendly. She loves everybody. She's immediately drawn to people. Entonces, por ejemplo, la música le encanta. Entonces, eh, hemos, la hemos apuntado a música, hemos hecho siempre música en casa. Always smiling and laughing and you can just feel his loving energy when you're around him. Travis is an amazing dancer. Uh, he's, he's got the soul. He has very good rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, loves he music. loves music, loves horses. He just lights up a room whenever he goes in there. Given the choice between a toy and a person, she will go to the person all the time. Elle adore la musique, euh, écouter, danser. Elle adore les livres. That seems to be the characteristics that, that, um, that binds all of these children together, is this wonderful uh, personality. Ela tem um pouco de ataxia, tem fraqueza muscular, ela não fala. Uh, la première année, en fait, Anouk a régulièrement été hospitalisée. Uh, déjà dès la naissance, elle a eu des détresses respiratoires. Elle ne mange pas par la bouche, elle est toujours nourrie par gastrostomie. Her journey kind of started the day she was born. She was tongue tied, needed to have a procedure a couple hours old, found out that she had low blood sugar, spent the first 10 days of her life in the hospital. She can't uh, make like that with the, with the head. She can't turn around, uh, for example, if she's on the bed. And it was diagnosed that she had a pulmonary, a slight pulmonary stenosis. You know, he wasn't developing. The doctors over here got involved and just said, yeah, he's not going to develop. Um, he was followed at that time by cardiology, endocrinology, pulmonology. He needs to fight for everything like 20 times harder than any other kid his age. The only reason Joe is able to walk is because all the physical therapy that he did and how hard he worked to move those little legs. And it's just, you know, you, you see him just trying so hard. So Sebastian actually goes to therapy full time. She's at this point, she's getting speech therapy. She's getting physical therapy, occupational therapy. Um, she's getting it both through the school. Ela faz no physio, TO. Uh, eu sunt farmacist, dar uh, pentru că el s-a născut așa bolnav, am decis să urmez o facultate uh, de terapie ocupațională și de terapie comportamentală aplicată, astfel încât să pot să lucrez cu el acasă în timpii morți. We have had to give her extensive occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, vision therapy, and then we also added hippotherapy, that's with the horse. That is her favorite. Face mazgutova aparte, face not și la kinetoterapie am renunțat deja de un an pentru că este considerat recuperat din punct de vedere emotric. Cum nu știam ce exact tenia, l-unic ce puteam face era stimularla mult, cu fizio, cu stimulație de, de tot tipul 
Por ejemplo, empezamos con la hipoterapia, con montar a caballo, y eso le ha funcionado muy bien. They started a ballet class at the ballet school here in Princeton, especially for children with different abilities, and it's called Audrey's class. When she was younger, you know, her days were more therapies, but now she's gotten older, but she spends a lot more time I would say doing typical 13-year-old girl things, um, like cheer and ballet and, and horse riding. We are really hoping that all the work that we're doing now is going to pay off in the, in the long run. He's just going to be, you know, he's going to be included in things. Mas o meu sonho é que ela, né, coma sozinha, vá no banheiro, né, trocar de roupa. I think our ultimate dream for Sebastian is for him to be able to do what he wants with his life. And we want him to have choices and to be, you know, it's so difficult to watch him struggle because we know that he has so much potential within him. Our dream is hopefully that she can communicate on her own, tell us what's bothering her, if something is hurting her, and also to just be, to be independent. To be independent. Have a friendships, relationships, for example, to be socialized. And it wasn't until we discovered this syndrome that all the pieces of the puzzle came together. That story started um, several years ago at this point. Uh, Dr. Matt Deardorff had a patient that saw him in clinic. We had seen uh, a little girl who had some clinical features related to another diagnosis. Like many, but many other children, we did exome sequencing. It did have a change in this WDR26 gene. Um, he eventually found another patient uh, with similar, similar features clinically who also had a change in that gene. A, a colleague in the, in the Netherlands, uh, and they had found a child who had a similar change. Comparing those patients and their features, we realized that they um, overlapped with each other quite a bit. And it probably took three or four years until we probably had six or seven children that, we, that had been recognized with differences. Uh, and it really started to make sense that the whole picture was, was fitting together. We also have done a bit of work trying to understand the biology behind it. And there, like many genes, um, you have two copies. And what's a little bit similar about it is this is a situation where you're really missing the function of one of the two copies. The Scrub and Deardorff Syndrome Foundation was created to generate awareness foster relationships, and gather resources for the benefit of individuals with Scrob and Deardorff syndrome. I think the foundation is going to have a huge benefit on kind of raising public awareness. So I think as we, we kind of let it, or, you know, let it be known to the other people, you know, whether it be pharmaceutical companies, uh, government agencies, other research, you know, I think that will help us kind of gear up and get, get more people involved and help us. Can you sign friends? Oh, that's so nice to be friends, yes. How do you do play? I know you like to play. <laughs> I want more cookies. You want to say, I love you? <laughs> we enjoyed every moment with, with Allie, uh, good and bad. I, we wouldn't give it up for anything. She's just been such a joy and, and, and such a uh, driving force in our life uh, to make us a better family and better people. Joe, say hi, Joe. <laughs> Buddy. Happy birthday to you. Joe, can you say I'm all done? All done. <laughs>